Hello everybody, I'm Tamara and I'm an IELTS expert here in English Express School. This is our second video presentation in which we are going to look at writing a formal letter. Let's get started. Here is the structure of the IELTS exam. As you know, it consists of four papers – writing, reading, speaking and listening. In this video presentation, we'll run through the structure of the first part of the writing paper. The first part lasts 20 minutes. It is a formal or informal letter which tests your skills in successfully communicating to resolve a situation or a problem. It must be addressed to a specific person or people and follow the given plan. The word count should be about 150 words. Part number two takes up 40 minutes. It requires you to write at least 250 words. You will be presented with a topic and will be tested on your ability to respond by giving and justifying an opinion, summarizing details, outlining problems, identifying possible solutions and supporting what you write with reasons, arguments and relevant examples from your own knowledge or experience. We are going to start with the actual presentation, providing all the necessary information and tips. After that, I'll present to you my favorite vocabulary boosting tool, a memorized course, which is, by the way, free. Next, I'm going to give you a sample task, so that you can practice writing your own formal letter. Send it to our school's email and get it marked by our certified teachers. Let's agree on some ground rules we'll stick to. Firstly, use a good dictionary to check all words or phrases you are not 100% sure about. It's absolutely necessary that you take responsibility for your own writing. Otherwise, at the exam you'll have no one to correct you and as a result you will lose points for messy and unclear text. Secondly, Make our lives easier by writing short, clear sentences. Long sentences are inappropriate in an informal letter. Thirdly, pay attention to the word count and write from 150 to 185 words, but not fewer. And the last, but not the least. This course will prepare you for Band 7 IELTS writing, so all elementary or pre-intermediate mistakes won't be corrected or discussed. Do we have a deal? Here's the contents of the presentation you're about to see. First, I'll list all types and features of a formal letter. Next, I am going to unfold a step-by-step -step action plan regarding what you need to do with a typical exam task. Namely, analyze the given task, generate ideas of what to write in your letter, choose appropriate vocabulary and paragraph or structure your letter. Finally, you'll get familiar with the list of requirements that every IELTS examiner uses when marking exam letters and we will evaluate our letter against this checklist. Types of formal letters cover a wide range of formal communication purposes. Here we have asking for information, applying for a job, making suggestions, complaining, making recommendations, informing or apologizing. The first step you need to take is analyze the task. It's recommended to underline all the key points. What do we have to underline here? On a recent holiday, you lost a valuable item. But you have travel insurance to cover the cost of anything lost. This is the background information. Now, what does the task require us to do? Write a letter to the manager of your insurance company. In your letter, you need to Describe the item you lost Explain how you lost it Tell the insurance company what you would like them to do. This is your purpose of writing and your plan. 
We know that the word count should be at least 150 words. Begin your letter as follows. Dear sir or madam, this is your recommended title. The second step you need to take is generate context of your letter. You can take a pencil and make short notes uh, right on the worksheet with the task. So, in the first paragraph, we'll describe the item we lost and explain how we lost it. Uh, so, I lost my digital camera. It was black Canon. It cost $1,550 and had a resolution of 20 megapixels. Explain how you lost it. Uh, I was having a coffee with my husband on holiday. Uh, the coffee shop was called Highlands Coffee. It was on Farm Gulao Street in the backpacker area of Ho Chi Minh City. In the second paragraph, we are going to tell the insurance company what we want them to do. It's pretty simple. We want to make a claim for the value of our camera. So, Please, use simple ideas that come first to your mind. Don't overthink it and waste your time. In the exam, you'll feel constant pressure to complete your letter on time. It's time-consuming enough to analyze your task, to generate ideas, to structure them and to make a clean copy of your letter. It would greatly help you if you could memorize all these phrases for applying for a job, asking for information, making suggestions, opening and closing phrases, and use them. We provide our students with a vocabulary booster application, which helps you to memorize all these phrases while playing an exciting game 15 minutes a day. If you use this vocabulary trainer every day, then during the exam, all these phrases will be at the front of your mind and you will be able to use them. The structure of a formal letter is identical to that of an informal one. Firstly, you need to write the title – Dear Sir or Madam. If the task states the name of the person you are writing to, you should use it. Don't forget the comma. Next comes the opening or the reason for writing. It's very important to explain why you are writing your letter to the insurance company. In paragraphs A and B, we focus on other points of our plan with ideas generated by you, namely description of the lost camera and your claim for the compensation. After that, we write our closing statement. I look forward to hearing from you in due course is common. Then comes signing off and your name. Please note that when you state the name of the addressee, dear Mr. Smith, for example, you say no with yours sincerely. Otherwise, you write yours faithfully. Don't forget to use appropriate linkers and indent. Before handing in your letter, you need to make sure that it is up to standard. Here is a checklist for you. Your letter covers all the points in the task and is clear and easy to read. The style of the letter is formal. These phrases are highlighted in blue. Your letter is clearly paragraphed with linkers and indent, highlighted in red. Your letter consists of a title, opening, two paragraphs with detail, closing section, sign-off and your name. Your word count is 162 words. You have checked the letter for grammar and spelling mistakes. I have a feeling that this letter will get band 8, not 7. Finally, here is a typical sample task for you to try your hand at writing your very own formal letter. The presentation you have just seen was supposed to be super easy and super short with minimum of blah blah blah, but if you still have any questions, please don't hesitate to state them in the comment section below or contact us by our email. See ya!